Hello everyone, it's Anna and uh, welcome back to part 18 of this mini album tutorial. And now we are going to uh, put some paper on the back cover here. But first I want to show you, I've um, put on these staples here, or metal tags from uh, Graphic uh, 45. And as you see I've bent them. So I've already glued them down. I used the E6000, so it has to be glued down over the night. So uh, the way I bended it, I uh, used my hammer and I put it in the tool. So this uh, bottom part was uh, fastened in the tool and then I hammer it down. So this is the closure. And um, here I have these brads or buttons, or brads I think they call, and um, if you can see here, I've bent both these bra brads down in an angle, so this will work as the closer, I'll try to show you here. we put it in like so and turn it around and now it's closed. So I thought this was a fun way to close an album. So first I made this uh, strip as in my last tutorial to uh, make it closer but I thought this was more fun. So you can use whatever you like. So I'm going to open it again. And now we start to assemble this. I've used this paper and I fussy cut out uh, here from her skirt and also her skirt. And I uh, backed it with this red paper here and I inked it a bit around with a vintage photo. So here you see how I glued it on the back. So we are going to glue this down. <coughs> And it doesn't matter if it uh, isn't all the way here. I used the rest of my paper. I was going so low on this paper, so I had to think how I used it. Remember to flatten out the glue behind. So, and I have uh, created some curtains from um, this paper, and I will try to show you how I did it. I cut up the strips from the paper like so, how large I wanted it. So, I hope this. You see how it's made. And um, I also glued uh, some uh, laces behind here with my um, glue gun. And I will show you here. Created some bands to hold the curtains just for the fun. And uh, these brads are really uh, wide in uh, when you're going to put them in, so I had to make poke some big holes to get it in here. So we are going to take that on. So and I take both of these back like so. get them really well down. And you see here I also have some inches here. 
That's because we are going to have some tags behind here. And um, also for this one, some hinges here. So first I think we have to glue this on here so we are sure we get it straight on the paper here. So we start to take some glue on here. And I created it so they will meet this halicin. Clip on here. Then we are going to glue because if you, I glue this down first, I don't know how wide it's going to be, and that's why I glue it on now. So maybe it will be a trouble to glue it all down, but we'll see how it goes. because of um, that I want this to meet and be the same on both sides it's not going to go on the end here but uh, I don't bother about that I maybe could take uh, the cover a quarter bigger and I could use one more of these to get it to fit but uh, <laughs> that's too late now so um, I think this is okay now so we I'll start to glue this flip down first the, on the top here. So, and we have some time before it all dries up. to glue this down. So hopefully this will work. I hope you see here. Take the camera a bit down like so. a bit tricky. <laughs> so we have to work fast here. Now it's straight anyway. So if some of the glue goes up here, I could just go back and put some more in. So now we are going to work on some tags. Move this a bit out of the way. So I think we start with this one. Oh my 
this is here. <clears throat> Here I cut a long strip of paper and I uh, cut out this same image as in the background of the paper and I also uh, cut around this uh, lady who is looking in the mirror and I tried to create a mirror by taking some foil tape on the back and I took just a little bit of glossy accent on her. And if you see this little piece here, that was a frame that was on the paper and it's because I uh, did get some uh, ink on here. So we are just going to cover that up. So if I hadn't told you no one would know this. So we always try to cover up our mistakes. So and then I took a long strip of paper and cut it down to this size and uh, I scored it here and then uh, this is um, I'm not sure what these are called, a matchbox or something like that. So I um, scored also a bit a half inch down here on this long strip and then could cut it up where I think it will go. So we are starting to assembling some paper on the inside here and uh, I'm not sure which side to use here. I think I will use this side here. So just take off some of this repositional tape I've used. I'm going to glue this on here. the first time I make this so we will see if it, it will work. Like so. And uh, then we are going to staple this down. Maybe to the bottom here. It's black to black, so it's not so easy to see. Like so. We'll see now if this is going to work. Yeah. And then we can take this strip of the paper on here. staples. Like so. And also on the back side. This can be used as photo mats, and I also cut out this frame. And um, 
and the feathers inside here I used for some other things in the book so we use it all and this is also crackle accent and then I just uh, snipped off around so this will go also in here like so and uh, then we are going to make another one Here I have made a tag and I used um, this Marta Stewart punch and lined up the edges in here and cut. I showed this in a previous video but if you haven't seen it you just line it up so you get these edges. And uh, on the back of these I think I will have this image here just for decoration so I'll glue that down And you can still place a photo over her if you want, or just do some journaling. And then this will go inside the, this little tag, <coughs> like so. And I just me measure the tag a long strip of paper and scored it and I cut it as far up as I wanted it to go like so and I also made some hinges here so we are going to glue them down And if you see this heart shape here, uh, that is the same die as we used <coughs> excuse me, in the first page. Um, this, I have it somewhere here. It's uh, these ones. And I have a, a crackle accent them. And then I um, took um, fire brick, I think it's called brick yeah distress ink and the black soot and some ram randomly <laughs> around and then I took these two together like so and they meet in the middle and I cut off these so then you create a heart and I also put up on a little butterfly and this lady is hanging from the top here so it looks like she has some wings, like so. So now we can put the tag inside. Like so. And from, for the front here I just cut out something, some words from uh, the same paper. And uh, I also cut out this lady. And this lady has um, what is called a helper to help her dress and I cut that out in the same and then snipped it off and I placed where I wanted this to go try to explain I wanted this car to have a little angle shape here so um, uh, and I glued her down where I wanted her to be. So you will see when we glue this down 
So this is going to go here on the front. We're just going to glue the top of our hair and the bottom of our skirt. And this image can also be fin uh, uh, fun to alter with some laces and so. Just want, don't want to cover up the words, so I go in the middle here. Too much glue again. <laughs> we can al always take it off. I should have taken the tag inside before I glued it down, but see if it goes. So now you see this will meet here, like so. So this tag is also going to go in here. So now we see if the page is dry. Put in the tags. why we created some hinges on the bottom here as well so the tags won't fall off so we are going to place this inside here like so and this on the other side and if you want you can make some more tags So now this cover inside is finished and uh, maybe put some butterfly on as well. So uh, you can do whatever you want. So I also want to show you for the back here. I am now glued them all together and I put some score tape over. glue over here and I much, much no <laughs> multi-mat on this side not this side because then it's harder to glue down so uh, I will glue that down <laughs> uh, off the camera so you don't have to watch while I'm doing it I have to have it up to my nose I think <laughs> to see it but I can give you the measurements for it it's uh, six and three eighths high and uh, five and a half wide, but that depends on how thick your album is. So uh, I will glue this down and then I will be back and we are going to make the front side of uh, the cover and uh, maybe the back side and bi binding we see how long time it takes. So thank you again so much for watching and uh, I wish you all a great and uh, happy scrappy day. Bye bye!